This crime is attempted murder of a judge. The sentence is death. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So today we're gonna talk about Discord. Why is this different from every other time we're gonna talk about Discord? Because oh yeah, the purple one is there. I don't give a fuck. Discord development has always been something that's not as consistent as I would like, or anyone for that matter. There's been a general thread Maggie McCarthy wanted to plan for season 3 and 4, where Discord was gonna turn good, and then it would cause a little whiplash because it wasn't really developed all that well. I mean, I don't know how you can have someone question their morality in 22 minutes, but they sure tried. We knew you could do it! From season 5 on, we've been getting really confused messages about how the rest of the main six, besides Fluttershy, feels about Discord. From my understanding, they like him, they don't mind being around him after What About Discord, but beyond that, he's not really trustworthy to leave important stuff to. I guess saving a question doesn't count as important, but what do I know? Twilight seems to have this fear that he'll do something dangerous and can't be trusted, but by doing that she still shows distrust in Discord himself. And as this episode shows, it really hurts his feelings. And then he lashes out! In some respects, I don't blame him. He has been reformed much longer than Starlight. He's been reformed before Starlight was even introduced, think about that. And the fact that Twilight still doesn't seem to trust him is kind of fucked up. Do you trust me? What? Discord does best when he doesn't have any boundaries and has to learn lessons from breaking those boundaries. When he doesn't even get that chance, just like anyone else, he feels left out and discarded. Twilight, when are you gonna be nice to Discord like Fluttershy, man? Horse. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions about being a centaur? <laughs> Please, go ahead. Believe me, I heard them all. <laughs> Made a pun. He has all these emotional ways of dealing with that, mostly his fake ego. But that's just all coping mechanisms because he fears rejection, and boy was he rejected. So we open up at the school that some people care about, I guess, where Twilight is establishing a scavenger hunt for the kiddos because that's going to be an event of this episode. Learning and fun? Does it get any better than that? You've been underwater a long time. We got all these fancy little stopwatch things to scan the items, and they still don't have cell phones, I guess, but whatever. In the meantime, we gotta deal with this pain in the ass. These are the jokes, people. That is a joke. I get it. It is not funny, but I get it. Also, it's a cool addition that these light-up kitty marks don't really look like they're supposed to, which is our first hint that something isn't right. Yay, visual foreshadowing. Starlight is set in charge of the school, in the meantime, and here comes in but her Discord to talk shit and get hit. It's pretty easy to see what's going on here. Discord is a master of putting on a face to hide his feelings, whether it's sadness or loneliness. Sometimes he's just a baby. Let me give you an example. He lied when he said that this medallion was given as a sign of gratitude and loyalty. But when I say that it is a sign of our true friendship, I telling the truth. I mean, it's clear that Discord is being genuine when he gives Twilight his key, but there are other times when he's just kind of an asshole. Well, finally! Some pony willing to give me the benefit of the doubt. The rest of you could learn a lot about friendship from my dear friend, Shutterfly. Um, it's Fluttershy. Oh, right, whatever. These scenes directly contradict each other. Why? Here's why. Discord seems to put on a face just about any time he can be emotionally hurt. I mean, I don't know what else is happening, but I like my theory. It doesn't excuse how he emotionally acts out and is an asshole sometimes, but it's mostly because he just needs hella therapy. And to be fair, Twilight gives some mixed messages. She likes Discord enough to save him from Tyrek, forgives him for being a butt, but then she's like, let's not trust Discord because he might fuck something up. At times, she seems just to tolerate him. I mean, Discord did spend a whole episode trying to prove to himself that Twilight actually liked him, and then... I guess she didn't, but then I guess she did. Like, can we just have a- can we just figure it out one way or the other? Imagine if someone you thought was your friend excluded you from a lot of important events. Including the time you threw a nationwide party of friendship because she thought you would constantly fuck shit up. Yeah, I'd be pissed too. It's all part of his, his thing where he doesn't want to feel rejected because he hates rejection and he doesn't know who his friends really are because the writers can't fucking decide who his friends really are except Fluttershy. And that's why he likes Fluttershy and that's why he doesn't mind being emotionally vulnerable around Fluttershy because Fluttershy ain't a dick. No one else is nice to him. 
So of course he values that friendship, the one friendship where people are nice to him. And the one friendship he can be open about that people aren't like, oh god, Discord's weak because he cares. And you guys think it's romantic. Psh. Oh, sorry, I got on a Discord psychology rant, you know, again. Discord starts assuming that this was some kind of misunderstanding and takes charge, including cutting the cheese. Hey, you get it? You get it? It was, it was, it was a joke. Well, I really like cheese, so I would approve. My favorite food is mac and cheese. There's your little KP fun trivia fact for this review, yay. I don't care! Discord then takes it upon himself to hire some substitute teachers, which is partially passive aggressive, but also I don't think Discord knows enough people to really have anyone to fill in effectively. I think he met Mod in like one of the comics, but yeah. I wonder if this true is related to Bloomberg. I ship it. I don't care. I ship it. An obvious meme is obvious. How do you do, fellow kids? What? Man, he's just being an asshole. This all combines when Starlight gets super mad at Discord for his continued interference, and then this causes Discord to project how he feels on Starlight, blaming her for justifying Twilight's choice, but he's really just really super mad at Twilight, and this doesn't end well. Maybe you should tell him before he does something completely reckless. There is literally nothing left that he could do to make this situation worse. How is the fact that Twilight decided to put an incompetent, power-hungry unicorn in charge of her school my problem? FINAL <laughs> Old memes are old. Also, I don't really understand how Starlight is that powerful to just blast Discord away. I mean, when Twilight couldn't that one time. Like, didn't we need a whole two-parter to defeat Discord, like, cleverly? But not this time. We get, like, 30 seconds. Maybe it's even less than that. Already? That's an academy record. So the kitties start on the request to find all the missing items or whatever, and Discord ain't having that shit. I think this is the first time we've seen him in ghost form since his episode premiere. Yay. Continuity. But Discord continues to be a passive-aggressive buttface. Note the unusual inverted vaulted ceiling. This is yet another example of the late <laughs> neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> Things get worse until Starlight is like, wait, I know the problem. Discord is only being a dick because we were dicks to him first. It's like that makes sense or something. Duh. Starlight apologizes and we see just for a second the genuine Discord that comes out shortly after. And you can totally tell it's him because he's avoiding eye contact and he's stuttering a lot. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what you're getting at. And then everything works out. And fuck you, Twilight, you got what you deserved. Maybe if Twilight was nice to them, none of this would ever have happened. In the end, I think the deeper meaning in this episode is what makes it work. Discord reacting emotionally because he again, you know, was left out of something that everyone else got to go to. Twilight's favoritism of Starlight doesn't really help matters. I'm glad Starlight understood that. Unfortunately, Discord messing around with being a little shit and being cruel to Starlight as well as students who really didn't do anything is a little bit out of character. Twilight is the one who asked Starlight to babysit, so if Discord should be mad at anyone, it's Twilight and possibly Starlight and possibly Spike. Let me define BABYSITTING! <laughs> I personally think that Discord was a little bit over passive aggressive and, you know, that was bullshit. But then we wouldn't have had this plot, right? I mean, we've seen Discord being genuine before when he's either hurt or being afraid of being hurt. And all this pettiness just kind of comes across as a back step. And I get it, the morals about being direct and having inclusion. But Discord reacting like kind of a jerk regresses him back to earlier stages of his character development. But in hindsight, so does Twilight and the rest of the main six. I think a better moral and setup would have been to have included Discord in some kind of event. And then when he thinks he's helping, turns out he's not. Maybe he took something too literally. It both keeps his character not annoying annoying, petty, but also forcing conflict. Kind of like in Discordant Harmony. Leaving him out at this point, something I've complained about all the time, just seems kind of mean. Twilight's mean, that's the moral. But those are my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments if you want. Remember to like and comment and favorite and subscribe. My analytics are shit lately, so I appreciate you doing just about anything ever. And, you know, and if I see you do something cool, I'll, I'll like, give you Monopoly money or something. Okay, bye. And that's all, folks, except it's not time for the ending gag. This is all your fault! Mine? I thought you were in charge here. He's absolutely right. <laughs> Stop,
Remember to save the bloopers, because apparently they're funny. Okay, we're gonna talk about Discord today. My favorite thing, the only thing I care about is what? <laughs> uh... Twilight's a bitch. This is the summary of this episode, Twilight's a bitch. In the meantime, we gotta deal with this pain in the ass. Oh, um, pain in the ass is referencing to the kitty marks, clearly. I was like, what is that a reference to? Starlet apologizes and we can see just for a second. There it is, it's, we don't get to see it a lot. And you can tell it's him because he's avoiding eye contact and he's stuttering a lot and he's not being facetious at all when he talks. He's just like, I can't word, friendship is hard, rejection. I don't, I don't, I don't like rejection. I don't like Twilight anymore. I don't think I like Twilight anymore at all, because she's a dick. Can we get shirts that say Twilight is a dick? God, MP4. I'd like that. I'd like that. <laughs>